tap, there we go. All right, so here we go, fast flow Pilates. You're gonna start lying down, Let's have the knees bent, feet hip width apart. Let's have the arms down by our side. You're gonna take a deep breath in. You're gonna to exhale to tilt the pelvis, press into the feet, rolling the hips up off the floor. You're gonna inhale there. Exhale, relax through the chest and come back down. So deep breath in. Exhale, so scooping the tummy muscles in, peeling the spine up off the floor. Inhale and exhale as you come back down. So deep breath in, exhaling to tilt and lifting up. Inhale and exhale as you lower down. Two more, deep breath in, exhale to tilt and lift up. Inhale. Exhale to come back down. Last one, deep breath in. Exhale to tilt. Roll the spine up. Inhale and exhale as you come back down. Let's float both legs up. So coming into our tabletop position. So these are all our warm up exercises. So take the arms out to the side. Spine twist. We're going to inhale, taking the knees over to the right and exhale, come back to center. And then inhale to the left, and exhale back to center. So inhale right, exhale return. And then we're gonna go left, and exhale back, good. Inhale right, and exhale back one more. Inhale left and exhale back. Let's take the legs down. Neutral position, you're gonna interlace the fingers and take the hands behind the head, opening those elbows out. So you're gonna take a breath in, you're gonna exhale to lift the head and chest up. Inhale there and exhale to lower down. So deep breath in and exhale and lift. <sighs> Inhale to hold and exhale to lower. Deep breath in and exhale to lift. <sighs> Inhale, hold and exhale to lower. Deep breath in, exhale to lift. Inhale, hold and lower. One more deep breath in, exhale to lift. <sighs> Inhale, hold and exhale to lower. We're going to add a rotation, so take a breath in, exhale to lift up. Now take a breath in here. Exhale, rotate to your right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left, and back to center. So we're gonna go right and center, left and center, right and center, left and center. Two more, right and center, left and center. Take a deep breath in, try to lift a little higher, and then exhale, coming all the way down. So you're gonna reach your arms overhead, you're going to bend your knees, or keep the knees bent, should I say, and bring the feet and knees together. You're going to inhale, moving arms, head and chest, fingers under the thighs. Exhale, bringing yourself up, arms back out. Inhale and exhale as you come back down, reaching the arms overhead. So we're going to inhale, exhale up, arms up, inhale, and exhale down. You want to work a little harder, extend legs and arms. Inhale, exhale coming up. Inhale, and exhale lowering down. Good, deep breath in, moving arms, head and chest. Exhale, coming up. Inhale, and exhale, coming back down. So inhale, arms, head and chest. Try and keep those arms parallel to the floor as you come forward, inhale, and exhale as you come back down. One more deep breath in, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale down. Now turn your palms up to the ceiling, bend your knees. You're gonna take a deep breath in, you're gonna exhale, and you're going to lift the pelvis up, and bring the arms all the way down 
onto the floor. From here, we're going to exhale to lift the right leg. Inhale, lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. And four, three, two, one. You're going to bring that leg up, extend it up to the ceiling. Flex the foot, point the toe. Flex the foot, point the toe. Flex and point and flex and point. Now lower the bottom to the floor and push back up. Lower it down and push back up. Lower it down and pushing up. Down and up. Down and up. One more. Down and up. Let's take that leg down. Going on to the other side. So you're going to exhale. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. And four, three, two, one. Well done. Bring that leg up. Extending up. We're going to flex and point. Flex and point. Flex and point, flex and point. Let's lower the bottom down and push it up. Down and push it up. Down and up. Down and up. Down and up. One more. Down and up. Let's bring that leg down. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, coming all the way down through the spine. Bring those knees up, little flick of the legs, and bring yourself all the way up. And what we're going to do is we're going to come into a kneeling position. You're going to have your hands underneath your shoulder. Should feel you're starting to get a little warmer now. So let's extend that spine out. Have your eye line slightly forward. You're going to take the right leg back, the left leg back, right knee in, left knee in. So we're going to go back, back, in, and in. Back, and back, and in, and in. Good. Back, and back, and in, and in, and back, and back. And in, and in, and back, and back, and in, and in. Now we're going to go back and back. Hold it there, hold it there in that plank position. Point the toes of the right foot. Little lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. One more. Lift and lower. Changing legs. So point the toes on the left foot. Little lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Now bring that left knee in, right knee in, left leg back, right leg back, in, in, back and back, and in, and in, and back, and back, and in, and in. Keep nice and strong with that upper body in, and in, and back, and back. Last time, in, and in, and back. And back, hold it there, draw the tummy in, draw the shoulders down, point the toes on the left foot. We're going to lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. Tap the toes under, right foot, we're going to lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. Tap the toes under, lift the bottom up. All the way up into your up stretch. So push your chest towards your thighs. I want you to lower both those heels down. Getting that good stretch through the body there. Well done. Lift the heels up and come back down. And again, lift and lower the heels. Lift the heels and down. Lift, lower the heels. Lift the heels and down. Two to go. Lift, lower the heels, lift the heels, and down. Last one, lift, and lower, and lift, and down. Now you can stay here, any issues with shoulders, we're going to do press-ups now. You can bring the knees down to here and be in a modified plank position. If you find that's too much, you've got a shoulder injury, you might want to bring those knees underneath you, okay? So I'm going to do the modified version back here. We're going to have our elbows pointing back. So think of drawing your shoulder blades 
down and back, lifting your eye line, and then we're going to lower, bending the elbows, and push up. Lower, push up. Lower, push up. So keeping the arms close to the body for four, three, two, one. Sitting back, nice little stretch. Wiggle of the fingers, and come on up. Let's do the wide arm press up. So take those arms wide outside your mat. Bring your body forward and just take a moment to draw the shoulders down. All right, and then think of lowering the chest to the floor, elbows wide, and push up. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. And lift. Four. Three. Two. One. Well done, sitting back, all the way back, good, and come on up. All right, come and turn towards me. We're going to try and pack the session today, so you're going to come and lie on your side. Let's do the side leg lift, so you're going to bring those feet slightly forward. You're going to have your arm either on your side here or in front of you. You're going to exhale to lift up. And as we inhale the lower, we're not going to quite touch the floor. We're going to lift back up. So we're going to lower and lift. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. And four, three, two, one. Bring those legs down, come on up, and you're either going to be on your elbow, or those of you that are fine with your shoulders, you're going to be up here, all right? So we're going to have the, uh, if you're up, you're going to have your uh, legs like this, so this ankle crossed over the other. If you're on your elbow, you can have your legs like this. Or you can cross like that, and that's going to make you really use the core there, okay? So I'm going to do the full exercise just so you can see how it looks. All together, let's inhale, lifting up. So we're all coming up into a T position. Exhale, we're going to go over and try and really create a bend in that body. Inhale back to the T, and exhale, lower down. So you're going to inhale, lift. Exhale, over. Inhale up and lower down. Inhale, lift and exhale over. Inhale up and lower down. One more lift and over and up and lower down. Let's swing around. Let's do the other side. So lying on your side, hands in front or on the thigh, resting that head down. We're going to exhale to lift up, inhale to lower towards the floor, and exhale, lift, lower, and lift. So you're really trying to feel it in the side of the body. Lower and lift, lower and lift, lower and lift. Four, three, two, one, well done, come on down, let's come up, let's have either the elbow underneath the shoulder, or you're going to do a full arm for our side bend, here we go, you're going to inhale, lifting up, exhale over, try to lift into that side bend, inhale back to the T, and exhale lower down, so deep breath in to lift, exhale over, Inhale up and lower down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, over. Inhale, up and lower down. Two more, lift and over. And up and lower down. Last one, lift and over. And up and lower down. Well done. Coming on to your front. You can feel we're going fast, I'm pretty out of breath here. All right, so let's have the feet slightly apart. Let's have the hands down, the elbows bent, shoulders drawing down, and then from here, you're gonna take a breath in, you're gonna breathe out, and you're going to start to lift up, 
and pushing into the hands, coming up if you're able, <clears throat> as far as you're comfortable going. If you're all the way up, make sure your tummy muscles are pulling in. And then you're gonna inhale there and exhale, returning to the floor. So deep breath in and exhale. Coming up, inhale. And exhale, coming back down, good. Deep breath in, and exhale, coming up. All the way up, that's it, inhale. And exhale, coming down. Now try and tense those legs, inhale, exhale, coming up. And I want to see you nice and tense in those legs, so really tense the legs. Can you see my toes are almost coming off the ground? And we're going to do a little rock forward. So you're going to bend your elbows, turn your face to the right, rock forward, and come back up. Then we're going to turn left, rock forward, and up. So you're going to go forward and up. You've got to keep your body really taut. So all those muscles are working and up. Rock forward and up. Two more. And up. And up, bring that body all the way down, hands underneath your shoulders, come on up into a kneeling position. Let's just release the back. So taking a breath in, you're gonna exhale, tucking the tailbone under, inhale, and exhale as you go back. Deep breath in, exhale, tucking under, inhale, and exhale. As you go back, two more, deep breath in. Exhale, tucking under. Inhale. And exhale. Coming back, last one, deep breath in. Exhale, tucking under. Keep that tuck, tuck the toes under. Lift the bottom up, pushing back into your up stretch, lowering those heels. And I want you to walk those feet forward all the way underneath you if you can. Bend your knees. Come back down onto the floor. And then from here, we're going to do a little rolling. So you're going to put your hands on your shins, bring your feet together, lift them up, draw the tummy muscles in. And then from there, rolling back, inhale to go back, exhale up. So this is just to release that spine. So we can go back and up. Back and up. Back and up and back and up. Hold it here, lift the legs up, put your hands underneath those knees. So we're going to try a teaser. Imagine someone's holding your ankles and you're trying to move away from those feet. So we're going to draw those core muscles in, coming down over that muscle or over this, sorry, the sacrum. And then we're going to inhale, head forward, lifting up, take the arms up, take the legs out, bend, and come back to your start position. That was a surprise, wasn't it? <laughs> what should we do? So you're going to exhale, coming down. Inhale, head up, extend, and come back down. And again, exhale down. Inhale up, extend, and come back down. Exhale down. Inhale up, extend, out, and back down. Last one, exhale. Inhale up. Extend everything if you can. Try and hold it here. Bring your arms around. And then you're going to exhale, coming down, 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 all the way down. And then you're going to bend your knees. Come back to tabletop position. We're going to lift up and we're going to extend our left leg. Bring the right leg in. Here we go, switching legs. So try and keep that chest up. Reach those legs out and eight, seven, six, five, four, 
Three, keep going with the legs, hands behind the head for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Let's add a rotation so you're rotating towards the bent leg. That's it, keep going. Nice and fast today, as promised. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come on in and give yourself a little rest. Let's cross the ankles, widen the knees, take a deep breath in. Exhale, pulling those knees into the chest. And inhale, release. Exhale, drawing in. Inhale, release. And one more. Drawing in and inhale, release. Okay, let's take the legs down. Let's do a quick exercise for the hips. So we're going to take our arms out to the side. We're going to extend the leg along the floor. Bring the right leg up for our leg circle. So you can have the leg bent or you can have extended with the foot flexed. You're going to inhale across, exhale around. Inhale across. Exhale around. So go a little faster. And round. And round. And two. And one. Come back to the center. Go the other way. Nice little circles. Trying to keep the core nice and still. That's it. And round. And four. Three. Two. One, staying there, point the toe, flex the foot. Point the toe, flex the foot. Point the toe, flex the foot. Point the toe and flex the foot. Take the hand behind the leg and then you're going to lift yourself up. You're going to walk the hands up to that calf muscle, trying to keep the flex. So we're trying to get a nice stretch through the calf. Trying to bring that leg as far towards you as you can. Then you're going to take a deep breath in and you're going to switch those legs over and you're going to come on down. Take the arms out, take up the position for your circles on this side. So here we go. We're going inwards. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Back the other way and out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Well done. From there, we're going to lift on up. All right. And we're going to flex the foot, point the toe. Flex the foot, point the toe. Flex the foot, point the toe. Flex the foot. Point the toe, we're going to have a little flex of that foot now. We're going to lift the chest up once again, and we're going to try and draw that leg towards us. So you're going into that stretch as much as you can. And I want you to point the toe, take a deep breath in, and exhale to switch legs. Two pulses, switch. Switch. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two. Now switch the legs back, leave your leg there, and take your hands behind your head. You're going to try and do it now without using the arm, so you've got to draw the leg towards you. One, two, and switch. One, two, and switch. <sighs> Last two, one, two, and switch, one, two, and switch. Now we're going to add a rotation. I can hear you groaning from here. Let's go. So we're here. We're going to do one, two, switch and rotate. One, two, switch and rotate. And switch. And switch. And switch. One, two. And switch, one, two, and switch, and switch. Oh, and I can feel that here. I'm sure you can as well, all right? Okay, so from there, let's come on up. Let's turn over, 
and let's have a little stretch. All right, so you're going to bend your right leg, reach the hand behind and grab onto the right foot, bend the left, take hold of it there. Make sure your knees are just hip width apart. And then you're going to take a breath in. You're going to breathe out and press those feet away and up towards the ceiling. So you can feel that nice stretch there through the thighs. Inhale, come on down. So exhale, pressing away. You might find you get a little rock there. And inhale, coming down. Two more. Exhale, pressing away. And inhale, coming down. Last one. Exhale, press away. And inhale, coming down. Well done. Release the feet. Come on up. And then what we're going to do is you're going to turn towards me. And you're going to be kneeling up like so. And we're going to take one leg out to the side like this. All right. Turning that foot in. You're going to take your arms out to the side. And we're going to go over. So go all the way over as far as you can, taking the weight down into that hand. All right. Once the weight is in that hand, you're going to raise that leg up. You're going to take the hand behind your head. You're going to flex your foot. And then we're going to go forward for one, two, point the toe and go back for one, two. We're going forward and back. Take it forward, one, two, and back. That's it. Forward, one, two, and back. And last one, forward, one, two, and back. Well done. Bring that leg in. Come on down. Let's lift up. Let's do the other side. Nearly there. This will be the last thing I think today. So we're going to go over, 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 over. Good. Take that weight into the arm. And then we're going to take the hand behind the head. We're going to lift, flex the foot. And we're going to go forward. One, two, and back. One, two. Forward. One, two, and back. So you flex the leg as it comes forward, point as you go back. Trying to stay in line with the hip, and back. Two more, forward, and back, and forward, and back. Well done, come on down, and let's just do a nice little rolling exercise to finish. So this one's gonna require quite a lot of balance and strength, so you're going to bring your feet together and knees apart, you're going to tilt back, okay, so you can feel the weight in the pelvis, hands on the legs, and you're going to extend the right leg up, and extend the left leg up, if you're not able to straighten your legs, you can hold on like so, with the knees bent, all right, so I'm going to try and straighten them, see how we are this morning, all right, so from here, nice strong arms, draw those shoulders down, draw the tummy in, and then you're going to inhale to go back. And you're going to exhale to come up. Draw the shoulders down and balance. And again, here we go. Back. And exhale. Inhale back. And exhale up. Use your shoulders. Use all your strength here. Inhale. And exhale up. Inhale back. And exhale up. Good. Inhale back. And exhale up. And last one. Back. And exhale up. Try and hold the end position. This is where we're going to end today. Hold it here if you can. Bring your legs together. Eye line towards your toes and see if you can just take your arms away for three, two, one, and then bring those legs down. Well, then you're just going to cross your legs, turning to me, and let's just finish with a little relaxation. We worked very, very hard this morning, all right? You can hear I'm heavy breathing as well because my heart rate's up. All right, so let's just do a gentle tilt of the head over to the side. Nice little stretch through the neck and come back up. 
and other way over and back up. Inhale over and back up and inhale over and back up. We're going to turn to look to the right and come back to the center and other way over and back over and back and last one over and back. Now I want you to interlace your fingers and just draw your hands forward and at the same time draw your tummy back so you're getting a nice stretch all the way through that lower back and then you're going to lift up, take the hands behind you, interlace them at the back and draw them back and down. If you want to lift the chin, nice little stretch there and come back. Well done. And that's you all done for today. All right, everyone. So well done. Great class. I hope it was okay for you. We did up the ante a little, so I'm going to come and have a chat to you now. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please do press the like button uh, before you leave us today, because any extra likes that I can get, it does help me with uh, getting noticed on YouTube. So that would be really helpful. All right, thank you very much. I've got my husband coming in. He's giving me the thumbs up. Oh, good. Lots of people chatting today. So, um, yes, don't forget, um, do subscribe if you haven't already, because that way you'll get notified when I have uploaded any new videos. Just to let you know, last week I uploaded a new standing workout. It's only 15 minutes. It's quite a balanced challenge. So if you're busy during the day and it's quite hard to get a sort of a longer session in, that's a really good one that you can do sort of if you want to take a break from the laptop or whatever, go do that for 15 minutes. It's a really, really good. It's proving to be very popular, actually, that one. So uh, I'm probably going to do more of those in the future. All right. So let's see. So I'm going to say, start saying hellos. If you want to send me a message, I'm going to be looking at the chat as well. So we're going from uh, the top. Uh, Wendy Seal, you've got a bad back, but you did my lower back pain relief sessions and it's much better. Well, very glad to hear that. And hello and a wave to you, Wendy Seal. Lovely to have you here. Uh, Madeline Bird. Hello, Madeline. Uh, you're doing one or two classes every day and it's really helping with your rheumatoid arthritis. Well, I'm really, really glad to hear that, Madeline. That's perfect. You know, you're doing a little bit every day. Very, very good for that condition. So, and I hope you're doing lots of stretches as well. Um, but yes, really good. Very pleased to hear it. And keep that up, Madeline. Very, very good. Debbie Baker, so pleased to join live again because you're in lockdown. Oh, Debbie, I'm sorry to hear that. Where are you, Debbie? Are you, uh, are you in the UK? I'm so sorry to hear you're back in a lockdown, but we'll stay here, Debbie. So I'm continuing this for the future. So I'll be here next Friday as well. If you're still in lockdown, you can join me then. Uh, Judy Hogarth. Good morning, Judy. Uh, you're in Dorset and you're just saying thank you that these are really helping you. Well, thank you very much, Judy. It's really nice to have you here and to keep our community going, isn't it, in these difficult times. Uh, Ranjit, good morning, Ranjit. Uh, Ranjit's had back pain, but you did, you did my Pilates and it's much better. Well, that's good, isn't it? See, I always swear by Pilates for any kind of aches and pains. It really is the thing to do. Uh, so I'm really glad to hear that. Uh, Sue Dearden, you're, you do my classes every day, but this is your first time live. Well, I hope you enjoyed it, Sue. Let me know. Um, really glad to have you. Today was quite a big, quite an athletic session. I'm mixing up, mixing it up a little bit because we've got quite a selection of people that tune in now. So if anyone wants to let me know whether they like this session, if it's too hard or it was just what they wanted, do let me know because I'm trying to kind of judge what's the best level for people on Fridays. Uh, Terry from Gretna Green. Hello, Terry. Uh, thank you for being constant, for being a constant uh in these times uh you're very welcome i know it's uh it's not a great time is it terry but i will be here and i'm going to try and stay there for you as long as i can physically do it 
I'm going to be here every Friday. Uh, lovely. Sumi's not with us today because she's got a back problem. I'm sorry to hear that, Sumi. I hope you haven't been doing too much gardening. Uh, Linda Verney Thompson, hello. You are saying good morning from the Cotswolds. Well, hello to you in the Cotswolds. I hope the weather's better there than where it is here because it's pretty grim today. Uh, Charlotte Conley says she has arthritis in the neck and mat exercises are painful. Is there a modification for the ones with the chest lifted? Uh, right, Charlotte. Yes, I'm just thinking about what exercise that is. You mean with the hands behind the head, I think, don't you? And lifting up. Yeah, if you've got really bad um, arthritis in the neck, just don't lift the head. Don't lift the head and just work on the, the abdominal movements with the legs. You'll still get some benefit. Um, but the, um, the what you can do, actually, I'm just thinking out loud. Sorry. Just going to grab these. Do you have one of these? Um, this is called a, a, an overball. It's seven inches. And as you can see, it's squishy and you can uh, blow it up. And basically, uh, this ball, you can put it behind you to support your neck when you're doing those exercises. So you don't lift up and down. You just keep it behind you and keep semi-lifted and then do the leg work. All right. But generally, arthritis in the neck, you don't want to be lifting the head. And there's lots of other exercises that work the core. I mean, we did those at the beginning of the day uh, today. But actually, every exercise we were doing today was core related and oh, as you can see it didn't involve the neck for those so i hope that explains the question well enough for you i'm just seeing that there's lots of um sorry i'm just going to close some windows down on my computer they're all opening lots of people are uh, donating this morning via my super stickers and super chats so thank you very much indeed so uh ranjit's donated 4.99 for class today thank you very much ranjit Really appreciate that. And got a great emoji with a, a man doing this, which is fabulous. And I've also got Jackie Halford has also donated. Oh, it's a man with the dumbbells. That's what it is, isn't it? $4.99. Thank you very much indeed, Jackie. That's really appreciated. Caroline Ford has donated $3.99 today. And she's offering me a cup of coffee. I love that with her emoji. That's what I'm going to go and do after today's session. Have a cup of coffee. <laughs> so that's really good. Sue, is it Sue Dearsley? S. Dearsley has donated two pounds. And she's got a lovely little super duper sticker with a man going cool. So I love that. Thank you very much indeed, everyone. That's very, very kind of you. So, yes, as you all know, these are free sessions. Um, you don't have to pay. But if you want to donate, you can do it via that dollar sign down on the bottom of the chat there. If you look at the bottom, you'll see a little dollar sign and a little sticker. And you can buy a super sticker or buy a dollar sign. And that uh, basically gives me some money towards these because I'm always trying to fit out my studio. It all looks quite glamorous, probably, from where you are. But from where I am, I'm actually in a garage um, and there isn't very much heating. And so today it's pretty cold. So what I'm hoping to do is get enough money together to be able to kind of make it into more of a, a useful studio. Because at the moment I've got a tumble dryer over there, got gardening equipment behind you. You can't even see what I can see. Ladders, all sorts of stuff. So, uh, yeah, so any, anything you can contribute will really, really help towards me trying to kind of get my studio going. I better do this a lot more regularly for you. Uh, wonderful stuff. So, yeah, so Ranjit, Jackie, Caroline, Sue, thank you very much for the donations. And I'm going to have a look through the chat now. So if you've got any questions, um, do fire them over. If I miss you, I do apologize. There's hundreds of messages coming through and there's about there's a couple of hundred of you actually live at the moment online so uh while i have a little whisk through don't forget press the like button press the thumbs up and button and uh subscribe um and let's see i'm just going to say some hellos uh da, da, da. Uh, Jackie, Lily Mars. Oh, Lily Mars put a message out on Twitter. Lily, thank you very much for that. So appreciate it when you guys share my channel with other people because that's how you get noticed. It's actually really hard to um, 
to get publicity uh, for doing this sort of thing because we just kind of roll on, don't we? And I spent my whole week teaching. So this is kind of on top of my normal teaching schedule. Don't get me wrong, I love doing it for you, but getting the publicity is quite hard. So if there's anyone you know of that you could share this with and say, oh, I do this class every Friday, or even one of my videos, send it to a friend or a family member, because I've got all age groups covered. I have a senior section, have a more athletic section, uh, I've got things for injuries, do please share with your friends because that's how we can kind of grow our community of like-minded people. Uh, wonderful. So, Sumi, good morning to you. Mary, uh, oh, Chrissy, I've just seen. Mary, Chrissy is back. Hello, Chrissy. Lovely to see you. I hope you're still with us. It's chilly in the Cotswolds this morning. Oh, yeah, it's very cold in the UK today, isn't it? Taya, hello, Taya in Australia. I hope you're still with us. Um, lovely to have you. I know you come regularly, so thank you very much for your appreciation. I hope life's getting a bit better over there and you're not still in a lockdown. I know it's been pretty tough out there as well. So lovely to see you. Good morning to Hilary Thorne, uh, Sarah Baldwin. Hello, you're going to catch up later today. Very nice. Uh, lovely. And da, 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 uh, Joan, good morning from Melbourne. Oh, good evening. Sorry. Yes, because you're ahead of us, aren't you? Good evening to you, Joan. Lovely to have you here. As I uh, hope things are better for you out there as well. Do let me know what's going on out there in the world. All right. Any questions? I'm just going to have a look. Um... Gillian says, good morning. I've just been watching. I did Pilates regularly about 12 years ago. I've had low level sciatica since with flare ups and lower back. I'd love to join in, but it looks quite advanced. Okay, Gillian. Yeah, this today would not be uh, a workout for sciatica. Um, but I do have lots of gentle Pilates classes on the channel. So do go have a look. Uh, with sciatica, you want to really be doing your stretches particularly those leg stretches. So have a look because there's uh, one, two, three, I think there's four videos on the site. There's two that are for lower back pain. So those will definitely be worth you having a look at. And there's two that are stretches, particularly the one lying down. So it's an older one where I'm all in pink and it's um, stretches for lower back pain. So go have a look at that. Um, there's plenty on there that you can do. And if in doubt, then go to the very early stuff. So that's the beginner's Pilates. Yes, I always think when you've done it, um, if you've done it before, you always need to go back to the start and get the technique, especially if you've got an injury, because you need to learn what's working for you and what isn't. What I'd like to know, uh, Gillian, is you say you've got low level sciatica. Do you have a bulging disc? Because if you have a bulging disc, you need a very specific sort of exercise. Um, and I can guide you with that. But I would need to know a little bit more about your condition. All right. So if you want to pop me a message, pop me a message privately and, and I can have a look at that for you. All right. Uh, OK, we've spoken to Charlotte. You've got the arthritis in your neck. Yeah, actually, you know what, uh, Charlotte? Another thing I've just been thinking about when you, with people with neck arthritis Sounds really strange, but bear with me. You want to try and do more work with your shoulders, loosening up your shoulders and releasing tension here. Because what tends to happen with arthritis in the neck is it starts to feed down into the shoulders and it pulls the shoulders forward. And then that also pulls the head forward and it exacerbates the pain in the neck. So anything you can do to kind of stretch the front of the chest, stretch the arms out, that kind of work, that's really going to help benefit what's going on up here. Because people often think when you've got arthritis, you've just got to work where it is. Actually, you need to work around it because the rest of the body above and below is often affected by that arthritis. So trying to get the stretch in the chest, trying to get movement in your upper back, especially here, this area below the neck, 
because on women, I find a lot of women, uh, this area here gets very stiff post-menopause and then it can start to feel even more tense in the neck. So anything to do with sort of nice back extensions, opening out the chest, that kind of thing would be really good for you. Uh, lovely. Oh, my husband's just posted. There is a link to Kofi. So if for any reason you can't do the uh, payment on the chat today, I have a page called Kofi. The link's on here. It's also in the description today. And that's where you can buy me a virtual cup of coffee. So it's like uh, it's like a donation of three pounds. It's just a cup of coffee. Some people buy one. Some people, one lovely person bought me 10 cups of coffee the other day, which was really helpful. Helpful. And again, all that money, I don't go spend that uh, on myself that goes into investing in equipment so I can do this kind of uh, teaching live through the internet. So if you wanted to be part of that and join in, then please go check that out. Okay, Caroline Ford. Hello, Caroline in Colchester. You missed a couple of classes. Have you up the pressure today? Um, yes, I have. <laughs> Sorry, Caroline. Yes, because I, um, I've been trying to mix it up, Caroline, so that people get, so I'm trying to get something for each level out there. And of course, what's difficult is I don't really know who's watching and what level they are. So if we were in a classroom and you came into class, everyone's in class, I could literally look at you all and know within a couple of minutes what kind of level I would be teaching that would work for you. With this, of course, you can all see me, but I can't see you. So I'm trying to kind of trying out different things, but I won't do a I won't do it hard and fast next week. I'll think of something else, uh, which will be equally good, but maybe a bit slower. So there's some variety. Yeah, just mix it up, Caroline. So, um, but go back and do the live. So there is, I mean, these lives they do progress, and I've been doing them now for six months. I can't believe that. So it must be 24 or so of them. So when you look at the channel you've got um all the videos i upload but you've got the live so if you look for the section that says past live streams and it is a playlist you can go back and see all the things that i've done and every single week has been different so there's lots and lots of variety there so do go to go and check that out all right i'm just going to go down see if there's any more questions today um da -da -da. So a bit advanced for you today, but you continue with the slightly easy ones. That's cool. Okay, Sue. Yeah, Lily, this is challenging. I had to modify a couple of exercises, but it was a lot of fun. Good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It's good to mix it up. And Anne from London. Phew, another challenging week. Thank you, Rachel. We are very welcome, Anne, in London. Uh, Wendy, great class. This is the level I aspire to, and no doubt you will get me there soon. <laughs> I will keep going. Well, absolutely, Wendy. You know what, everyone? Even if this felt like it was really tough today, doing your Pilates regularly, so that's anything from the beginner's class I have to the standing classes, just doing regular exercise builds your strength. It's not like you have to do that level that we did today every day, but it's good to do something every day because it's that repeated use of the muscles, yeah, that makes them stronger and also the repeated stretching that elongates those muscles. So, you know, in Pilates, we always say stretch and strengthen, all right? So it's not like in a gym where you're just constantly lifting weights and getting big biceps. We're also extending and working through both areas of the muscle. So when you contract and when you extend. So they call this concentric and this is eccentric. And we use both types of movement in Pilates. So just keep going. Uh, Vinny, you enjoyed it. I'm really glad. Beautiful session. Good and miss oh i'm trying to see your handle miss snowy mac oh what a lovely name thanks rachel i love the class and rehab from major surgery as you know oh i know who you are now uh i'm perfect for starting to challenge myself again perfect level for me kathy bless you kathy kathy everyone is back from major surgery um and i hope she doesn't mind me saying but she survived cancer 
and I'm so proud of her for getting through it all. So we should all give her a round of applause. And the fact you came back today, wow, Kathy, that's quite a one, <laughs> quite a one to start with. So very proud of you. Well done. I will definitely uh, be in touch with you shortly, uh, a little bit later today. <clears throat> okay, nearly there. Brian at 74, I found that demanding session, but I found your senior sessions a bit too sen uh, a bit too gentle. Okay, Brian, yeah, so you need that in between, don't you? What I would suggest, Brian, for you is go and have a look at my recent standing, 15-minute standing session. It's not a senior's. Uh, so it's going to be uh, a little bit more challenging for you, lots of balance in it. I also had a 15-minute mat session. You might want to try that as well. It's a kind of well-rounded. It's not as high energy as today, but it's going to be a good session, and it's slightly harder than the seniors ones that are too gentle for you. So go have a look at those. They're only 15 minutes. And what I would say, you know, this is probably what I'm doing today is probably quite uh probably one of the hardest levels I've done. I think I've only got two videos on the channel at this level because generally people don't tend to do these ones regularly. So go and have a look at the other stuff, Brian, on the channel that's not seniors. Try the beginner's workouts. Try, you know, a 20-minute workout. Uh, try the call workout. I've got lots in the live streams. So go again, have a look at the live streams because there's all of those bar last week are much more gentle than this. They're not necessarily easier, but they're a gentler pace. Try those out, see what you think. Uh, okay, so I think today, what we've learned from today, hello, C. Jardim in Brazil. Hello there. Uh, yes, today, definitely, um, people saying, oh, wow, this is quite difficult. So good to know, huffing and puffing, Sally Ann, but that's good. Charlotte Connolly, you enjoyed it. Jennifer Bagley, you enjoyed this challenging class. Well done. You'd like more. Okay, I might do some filming of some challenging classes uh, and put them up there for you. All right. Oh, Taya, you're still in stage four lockdown. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, it's really tough um, out there. I'm really sorry to hear that. Keep your chin up, Taya, okay? Keep going. Try and do a little bit of Pilates every day. I know it doesn't solve the lockdown problem, but at least it'll keep you motivated every day. You know what? You're going to come out of this situation so much fitter and healthier, aren't you, from it? That's the way I'm trying to look at it. We're kind of in a – we're sort of – at the moment in the UK, We, we there's areas of the UK that are starting to lock down, so we're not quite sure quite what's happening, Taya, so we might be joining in with you soon. But I will keep going. And, uh, yeah, keep your chin up, everyone. All right. So I'm going to sign off now. Just wanted to say thank you so much for joining today. Thank you for your donations, everyone. Really appreciate that. I will be back at the same time next week. I'll think of something that's going to involve stretching because I've had lots of stretching requests today. So we'll do that next week. All right. So take care. Bye for now. Take care. Bye-bye.